Hey YouTube, what's up? XpoX here, coming back at you with another video, and today I'm here again with Exiled and Sly as usual. Sup? Hola. And again, we have our guest, uh, Carnage21, for the rest of the week, so say hello to him. Also, Dick! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. God bless America. <laughs> and then, God bless America. And then we're going to be profiling uh, today Sly's... Uh, Shoot, uh, <laughs> Wow, how rude, man. <laughs> He's lost I know, how many I'm times, sorry. but he doesn't remember it. Uh, Deck is so bad at forgettable. I've never played your Paleos, actually. That might be true. Okay, direct. I don't think you've ever played I've, me, I've, really, ever, though. That's why. Even yeah, though I'm just that impressive. Uh -huh. Do you want me to get right into yeah, it? Sure. Just keep telling yourself, yeah, just go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> okay, so naturally, you know, playing three Swap Frog, because everybody plays three Swap, three swap, yeah, swap Frog. Um, <laughs> three dupes, because, you know, dupe searches Swap, so why not? Plus the dupe lock, people get hated. Uh, people hate that loop, and uh, they're pretty pissed most of the time. Two rodent tones, because uh, you could banish one off of desires. Don't want to do that ever. I'm playing two copies of Artifact Scythe, because you know naturally I'm playing artifacts in here, because uh, it can stop down the uh, double hooks from coming off ever, which is nice. One copy of Moral Tack, because you know it's when you banish both sides off of desires, you know. <laughs> then one maxi, only hand trap I play in the main, because uh, I like going first. What can I say? I'm playing two copies of desires <laughs> and one copy of maxi. Two desires, because you know, draw, drawing two is better. But two copies of wait, wait, wait. Two copies of desires and one copy of Maxi when you already covered Maxi. No, two, one copy of Upstart. <laughs> Did I say Maxi? You said Maxi. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, well, it's one copy of Upstart because uh, basically you don't want to desires into desires, but you can desires into Upstart. So yeah, that's why. Uh, two copies of Canadia because um, Book of Moon's nice, but if you go second against uh, a Spiral deck, you can't flip a Link Monster face down. So that kind of sucks. Then I'm playing two copies of uh, Dynamiscus, because Dynamiscus, you can target one card and banish it. That's and nice. Dynamists. <laughs> <laughs> then three Olenoides, because, you know, MST is always awesome, and it negates, you know? Uh, one mm -hmm. copy of Lee and Cornelia, because, you know, you banish stuff off of Desire sometimes, and it's nice to get it back. Uh, three why copies. only the one? Why only one? If you're running, t Yeah, if you're running two copies of Desires, why are the only one? Only one, because it's searchable off of uh, uh, Opabinia, and you normally don't need it ever, so, like... You really only want it when you banish two rodents, so you can search it to, to return the rodents, so you can uh, make all your uh, frog plays still alive. Is it pretty easy to well, like, recycle it, has... it, too? You don't intend to recycle it, because you only need to uh, get... Like, if you banish two rodents, your Lee and Shinolia is important. If you don't, you could banish it off Desires, and you're okay. You don't oh, really care. Okay. He runs too, so it's not like it, it, he's not banishing a lot of cards like very often. I do so. banish quite a lot, um, but it, you, you can end cards, the game though. quickly enough that it doesn't matter. Because um, like, as long as you get um, like a toad on, on board for two turns, you have an OTK combo. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, then three yeah. Reckless Greeds, because uh, drawing is nice. Plus, you can Reckless into Reckless quite often with this deck, and it's fun. Um, one Warning and three Strikes, because, you know, negations are fun. Solemn Grid, yeah. Plus, I can say, like we talked about in our last video, point at your opponent and say, you've activated my trap card. <laughs> but, but You can do that. Well, my... That's yeah. literally 90% of this it's... deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My question is, why don't you play Fossil Dick? Because now you can't say Fossil Dick if you want, want to. I can't, but I can. What I do to other people is, I, I, I later, like you'll see later in this profile, is I tell you, <laughs> you can't play your Fossil Dick. That's what I do. Oh, that's um, fair. <laughs> which you'll see very okay. soon in a matter of Ouch. a few minutes uh, or seconds. Who knows? But you have to ye yell Fossil Dick when you say Fossil Dick. Like, <laughs> well, I'll you have stop to whisper everything else, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'm playing. Uh, you can't uh, play your fossil dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing three copies of Artifact Sanctum because you know Sanctum is awesome. Oh, that's, that's about so it. Good. Um, then three copies of uh, Storming Mirror Force because uh, it's it's nice. I, I play Wabaku most of the time, but specifically with this deck, there's so many cards that stop spirals with one card that I'm okay with it not activating all the time. So that's, that's why. Then for the why not awesome, like uh, drowning? Yeah, not drowning. Why not like drowning or something? Yeah. Uh, is drowning one that uh? Destroys or which one's drowning? Uh, no, drowning is the one that declares back in the deck if you control no monsters. Doesn't drowning yeah. have to be yet, but the problem is I want to protect like a uh, a toad awesome most of the time or something else. So you want to activate that to protect something. You wouldn't like you wouldn't yeah, need to otherwise. Okay, gotcha. I'm playing uh, one copy of uh, Imperial Order, uh, three copies of Antispell because oh, I like not allowing so my opponent. Play your fossil deck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You just like fuck you, right? That's how you do it. Um, one cool thing that is awesome with this deck is if you actually have a Marole Tax set and a uh, Olenoides, you can activate Olenoides in your opponent's turn, target Marole Tax, destroy Marole Tax, and it can actually get its effect to be Dryden, uh, which is really fun. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
it was a fun interaction that I experienced the other day. A uh, guy was rather pissed. Um, so <laughs> I can imagine. Extra, I'm playing one Tico Talker because it's nice. Really, it's there for one reason. Uh, masterpiece. Yeah, that, that's it. Mm, I don't sound yeah. otherwise. And then playing two Mistar Boys. Realistically, I only really go into one ever. So if you want to uh, like a, uh, if you want to play Ghost Reaper in this deck, remove one and put something else in there. Play one Proxy. Or Dragon. you could. Uh, yeah. You could. Please. Like ABC. Yeah, exactly. Play Buster. Play uh, double, uh, double Helix. Play anything. Omega. Yeah. Um, Proxy Dragon because you know it's it's there for the OTK combo. It's super simple and nice. Uh, three totally awesome because you know. You, Basically, it's totally awesome. You should always summon it's Toad. It's totally awesome. Exactly, it is totally awesome. Um, it's a Toad on top of a Toad. It's awesome. Um, I'm playing one Animal Malcaris, because you never summon it, but it's nice. One Opabinia, because you summon <laughs> it once, and never again. Or you never summon it. <laughs> then I'm playing... Let's think about this. Okay. Uh, one Cat Shark, because Cat Shark is nice for the OT, OTK combo. Or if you just use it with a, a Toad, you make Toad really, really powerful. I am also it's playing... Cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's your opinion uh, then I'm making um, I play one Digusto Phoenix because it's a part of the OTK combo as well uh, the OTK combo is if you didn't know Digusto Phoenix with Cat Shark because that's 65 on, on board plus you always have to make a Prox Dragon or a Mistar Boy as well which puts it to insane numbers um, then I'm playing one copy of Crumble Logos uh, the Prophet of Demol- Demolition uh, I had I played this deck for at least nine months without having this card. You don't need to play it, but it's good. Um, same thing with Sky Cavalry uh, uh, Centauria. It's good, and you should have it, but I just don't have it in half the time. Then uh, I'm playing uh, the Phantom Lights of Curse Javelin. It's a nice card. It can basically, it's Toad, but you just decrease the mem- uh, opponent's uh, attack t- of their monster to zero, so it can get over stuff. It's kind of like a Nightmare Shark almost. Now I use it. Then I'm playing one copy of F Zero Utopic Future, because oh, it's, geez, that it's card's nice. so good. Yeah, it's like if you if you wasted your zones with a uh, catch shark and Digesto Phoenix and you didn't end up killing them somehow, should never happen. Uh, you can use it. So realistically, this card's cuttable as well um, for whatever you want. For the side deck, this side deck is basically completely designed to go first and then for specific matchups as well. I'm playing three Ash Blossoms because you know I hate um, thoughts, most man. decks basically. Um, <laughs> you hate everyone. That's exactly, why. I do. Okay. <laughs> Well, I hate people that Ash Blossom my Fossil Dick three times in one match, so... Don't worry, I, w- I would save it for that. I'd wait till you use a Monster Effect Search, because I would just stop your Fossil Dick with the end of spell. Um, then I play two Gamma Seals, because uh, Gamma Seals nice, plus it gives you another um, card with a sw- Swap Frog. So if you ever have Swap Frog and any other Water Monster, you have Toad. So it, it either increases your Toad capabilities, or it can outlast Resort and Sleeper, you know? So yeah. Uh, then playing one Dark Hole and one, one Regeki, because Border Reps are nice. That's really the only reason. Then three mind crushes because if if your opponent searches oh, come, so good. you drop it. <laughs> if they use, if they go enter battle phase, you just go flip evenly matched, and they don't have even matched on you anymore, and it's fun. I'm playing <laughs> two mistakes. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to cut this card because uh, you know mind crush just kind of almost does the same thing. Uh, but it's nice because if you're playing trick stars, stop making so like many that. mistakes. Exactly, it's, it's the only mistake <laughs> this deck actually has. Um, but that, but none of these cards are evenly matched. Well, they are actually. That's the next one. <laughs> Last card is even matched because you know it's good against Paleo. It's good against Spirals. It's good against Trick Stars. It's good against, good against Pendulum Magicians. It's good against back practically everything. Ah, it's good if you magicians. misplay and you purposely misplay, and then you can be like, "Oh no, it's okay. I got evenly matched." We said, "Nah." You know what I do? <laughs> oh, I, I play. It's uh, good if you like. Yeah. And misplay and then play you new ash like i had you the entire time <laughs> exactly <laughs> you played yourself see i do it because when people you activate their um uh their card demises and when in, in true kings uh true draco i just let them draw into all their cards search masterpiece forget about card demise and have to discard masterpiece and just go <laughs> well they have one track card set <laughs> if you want to replay that i have that um but that's the deck profile <laughs> it's beautiful it's a completely competitive deck profile if you want to, I could say like you might want to change the main deck to be maybe a going first variant or going going second variant. If you want to kind of increase your matchup potentials in some cases, but I've I like it this way. You know, you can play it either way technically. But yeah, that's it. One thing I realize is that most people don't know how to play Paleo just because of the fact that they don't like decks that take a scale to play. That's actually a funny <laughs> thing. I had a guy say that, to me that uh, that's new, that's new Paleo new takes my skill, and then he played yeah. a deck that was playing Grinder Golem. 
Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> That's basically the main reason why people don't play Paleo though, is because apparently it takes like it, it's it's hard for people to play because they need to have skill to play a deck. Cause yeah. You, from what I've seen, like wow, each of my players, what a concept. You've never used Paleozoics. You've always used Paleozoics to if you're going uh, first, you're trying to always counter what I'm doing to make sure I can't do anything. You don't resolve a single card is my basically my, my my that's my objective. Yeah. yeah. It's negations, then let me go off. Exactly. Well, it's a negation, and then give me one turn while you have nothing, and then I'll go off and kill you. Yeah. That's how it works. It's like Crystal Wing, but with a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it also yeah, doesn't lose I'll to just... Kaiju only. That's, that's what it also does. Yeah, fair. My chances of the Kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> well, so just... that's, that's really it for the video. I mean, yeah, ultras are hard. Just do the thing. Not as hard as Fossil Dig.